Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Moon and as well Rising. Weekly Tarot reading September 9th to September 15th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the Tarot cards and uh, we can jump right into it. Okay, so the first card which stands for the topic of your uh, week here is going to be the Ten of Swords, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the, um, the Strength card. Afterwards, we do have the Seven of Cups which points to the positive aspects of uh, your week. And then the last one here, that will be the Lover's card, which stands for the guidance that uh, Tarot is offering. Um, well, it looks like that this week you are simply going to lose it. I mean, it's um, it stands as like, um, I don't know how to describe it really, that you just cannot take it anymore, okay? Either regarding career or either regarding relationship. It's just you will not be able to to endure it well you can endure it but it will feel so unfair okay it will feel so that you don't deserve it and um that will be that will be the last straw <laughs> to be honest it seems that people um those who provoke you or those who are mistreating you are going to see a very different side of you a side that they if they knew you had such a side they don't want to deal with it. I mean, it's something that they, well, it's, let's say that they're going to awake the beast. Okay. But before we see how this thing plays out, let's run the cards one more time. Ten of Swords, it is the first one, which stands for the topic, followed by the, the uh, Strength card, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the Seven of Cups, which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week. And then the last one is going to be the Lover's card, which represents the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. So uh, Ten of Swords, it is a, a card um, in the grand scheme of things. It is a, a card pointing that uh, it is time for you to cut the bullshit. All right. It is time for you to uh, how can I place it? To allow the monster within to deal with your problems. Although the Ten of Swords may be associated with a, a very negative um, event that is to happen, being betrayed, um, accidents and these kind of stuff, I don't like to observe the cards in the such way. Um, and it is not what I intend when I shuffle the cards, so this isn't what the Ten of Swords represents. At least in this case, Ten of Swords here points that something breaks, something in you snaps out. Okay, so let's say <clears throat> you are working, okay, and you are giving everything you got, 
and you are constantly humiliated and pushed around by your supervisor or by your boss or by a colleague, you know, and you have endured and endured and endured and finally you just snap out. It's, it's just you can't take it anymore. And you take the necessary actions so this is to end. So whatever um, you are, have to go through, all right, because it's going to be very awkward, it's going to be very unpleasant, and those times require irrevocable decisions and irreversible actions that you shouldn't fight against incorporating, okay? But once they are done, once you say what you have to say, once you do what you got to do, uh, then a, this times of darkness are to be over and a new dawn or in other words a new era is going to embark into your life the accompanied card here is going to be the four of cups the formation it is a uh, active neutrals that we do have so this is a um a, an action of uh, uh, how do you say it not helplessness but um, well, it is kind of like you didn't have to do it, all right? You didn't have to endure these things. For example, if we go with the narrative of work, you know, you have been um, humiliated and bossed around by these people and you didn't have to because you may have a many other options to start to work for other companies, you know, but you like that job and you want to be there and these people don't have to treat you that way. That is just for an example. So instead of just bailing out, you know, you stand and fight for what you want because now that makes sense with the lovers at the end with the Four of Cups here that ultimately at the end you will have the decision to make. Should you bail out and give up on what you worked up until this point, right? Or should you do what is necessary to sustain it? The next one is going to be the um, challenges that you need to overcome and that is the strength up temperament it is the first challenge that you need to overcome throughout this um <clears throat> throughout throughout this week whatever actions you do or whatever you intend to do it needs to be done in a stone cold fashion okay people doesn't have to see that you do care all right that you do care about they what they think about uh, about what they want you know or about how they sees you here you should not um, involve yourself into such kind of conversations where you're finding yourself constantly explaining why things has to happen, okay? For example, why these people are humiliating you and why they have to stop doing so or why they are abusing you. You just need to start doing something. Let's say that you are in a marriage and your husband is abusing you instead of trying to convince him other way around and displaying him the... Uh, now, how, how do I say it? Displaying him what consequences he's going to have that, then file for a divorce. Let your action uh, speak about it. Or if you don't want to go that, that far, just leave him for a, a couple of weeks or just leave him up until, you know, he fix himself or fix his behavior or etc. etc. The point here is, is that people aren't going to believe what you are to say in your defense. You have to act in your defense. The accompanied card is going to be the magician, the formation. It is the active friends that we do have here. <clears throat> and uh, it is, yeah, I mean, people are underestimating you. That's, that's the whole point. They don't, be, they don't believe that you do have the sovereignty. They don't believe that you do have the determination. Okay. And they do. Uh, and even though you may negotiate certain rules throughout these conversations that you may have with them. Okay. Uh, these rules are to be broken furthermore. So do not allow yourself to be uh, sweet-talked out of your determined actions. Do not allow yourself to be misled. It is the point of these two cards in this follow-up in that position. So the next one, it's about the positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups here points that your uh, dreams, are they fantasies or seeds growing? Well, it is yet remain to be knowing. 
For example, um, if we are following the narrative of the abusive marriage, you know, the woman may say, I will leave you, I'm going to find better than you, and the husband laughs, you know, so he doesn't believe that that can happen. But with this card, it can happen. This card here points that anything is possible, and for that reason, you need to dream big, all right? You should not satisfy yourself with the current despondent and miserable situation that you may find yourself at, okay? While in the same time, this card offers you a, a very accurate analysis upon the actions that you gotta do in a, such a way that you don't end up severely disappointed. And additionally to that, the card deprives you from grave mistakes in a sense of that do something in a such a way that there is no going back after or that there is no way to fix it after. Um, going back is not the exact term I wanted to say because after you are done with these uh, determined actions that the Ten of Swords demands, there won't be any going back, okay, from that point. But the thing is that you will be able to fix whatever you do wrong throughout this process. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ten of Wands formation. It is a uh, passive enemy, and we are seeing here a relief. We are seeing here a, a detachment from strings, from auto, from from a uh, no authority, but how do you say it? Um, yeah, authority. Let's say that you there is something or someone who is oppressing authority upon you. You are following them. You are playing their game. Well, after this week, should you do what is necessary, that will be no longer. Okay, you are basically going to detach from their grip and uh, start creating your own rules. Start creating your own life. You know, start creating your own routine. And the last one that we do have, it is the Guidance, and uh, that will be the Lover's card. So, first of all, the Lover's card um, urges you, Gemini, to uh, recognize which relationship you have is harmonious and which is, which is not harmonious. And whatever is not harmonious, it's, it simply got to go. Additionally to that, the Lover's card here in this position, it does says that whatever uh, wh whatever you have to push is not happening. So it has to go as well. The Lover's card here tells you that you need to move along with the current. If something is happening, it is happening and you have to try to develop it. If something isn't happening, there is no point you going against the current. And the last one, uh, the last thing that the Lover's here says is that you do have a decision to make. Should you go for what you want or should you go for what you have to, okay? Because this reading to me, it does look like that you gotta go for what you want and not for what you have to. Because the person who is abused in career, he has to stay into that career, but he doesn't want to because he's abused, okay? So he, he needs to do something about what he wants to work peacefully for a good salary. And the last one, uh, it is uh, the four of uh, wands here, the formation, it is the active friends that we do have. So that points that should you aim for all these things that the lover's card here is telling you, then you are going to finalize an important cycle into your life, okay? Something that you strived for for a long time. It take you a great deal of effort to achieve such a place. From there, that could, that place will um, serve as a, a trampoline, as a foundation for you to jump on forward and to go for even greater heights. So that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly tarot reading, September 9th to September 15th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.